Uh, my name is Leroy Patterson, Jr. Uh, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm the kind of the on-site, everything kind of person for coordinator for the base boot camp. I'm like the on-site manager, the operations guy. Make sh I try to make sure that you know the schedule is uh, adhered to, any adjustments that have to be made, anything that the campers need, I'm there to assist them and make sure they get what they need, anything the instructors need. I facilitate that as much as possible. I'm the person that, kind of the everything person. I, um, I've known Gerald for since the mid to early 80s. I used to follow him when he played with groups in the Philadelphia area, Reverie. So I'd go see him play and that's how I got to meet Gerald. Became a student of Gerald's over the years and uh, we became friends. Uh, Gerald came up with a concept for developing the camp and for whatever strange reason, he thought of me to help him to put the idea together. So it was uh, myself, Gerald, and, and Roxanne Beasley, Gerald's wife. We sat at his dining room table and began to hash out the idea for the uh, base boot camp. The, the average student is a person who's had a base for a long time, and for whatever reason wasn't able to become a professional musician generally, uh, have, a, have a, lo a love for the bass, uh, but they've been kind of sidetracked, I would say, from playing their bass on a regular basis by their nine to five job, family obligations. And a lot of the guys have just, and women, have decided that they're gonna take some time, you know, to get back to their instrument. So that's the, I would say that's the average person that comes to the bass boot camp. Uh, it's actually a, multi a multitude of things uh, we'd like to see. For instance, the younger campers, young people, we, we really want to, them to be exposed to, you know, a lot of different aspects of bass, what bass brings, bass playing, instructional side, informational side, just to give them as much information as possible so they can, uh, uh, you know, better kind of map out how they want to, you know, proceed in life with their instrument, whether that's through professional music, or otherwise. Uh, for adults, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for them again to really just get back in tune with their instrument and because uh, uh, we all kind of play for, there's I believe a common denominator and it really is a, a joy of the instrument and life can tend to pull you away from things like that and you know our purpose is to help people get, get to that and make sure that they provide time to do the things that they really like to do in light of all their other responsibilities. So, you know, those who like the bass, we want you to pick up your bass and enjoy it and get, get the most out of it, even if it's just for personal enjoyment. Well, for us, the important thing, as a bass player myself, I always felt like it's better if you have hands-on clinics. So the, the brunt of our time is a hands-on interaction with the instructors. So we prefer that they, have, they get more workshops at the base boot camp that are hands-on. So that as they're teaching you, as they're showing you something, you're doing it. And you don't, it's not something you have to conceptualize and then try to remember later. So you're actually, we want, the, I guess the goal is for everybody to be able to take something away from this camp during this three-day weekend that they can use whether through on their normal jobs through the, at the gig when they're playing their instrument or whatever they want you to be able to get something you know from this weekend that you can use in your daily life it's a long list I'll start with who we have this year uh, we have the great Adam Nitty, Anthony Wellington Brian Beller, Rhonda Smith, Gerald Veasley, of course Gerald Veasley, um, Chris Farr, that's Gerald Sachs player and his group is an excellent teacher, um, Richard Waller who's the drum instructor, we also have a host of night owl instructors um, and most of them are, and all of them as a matter of fact, they've been former campers who also provide instruction. Uh, that would be Brittany Frompovich, Ryan Medora, uh, Steve Rosati, uh, a fourth person, oh, Joe Aranda, and we also, and one of the person I meant to, I, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I apologize, 
uh, Rob Smith. Now, Rob's a special case because Rob was a camp attendee. And one of our camps a few years back, they were, the campers were asked what they would like to see, how if they could envision something in the future for themselves, what would it be? And Rob's vision at that time was that he wanted to be a base boot camp instructor. It happened that way, but it was pure coincidence that it happened that way. Rob is a phenomenal teacher and a phenomenal bassist, and he has the exact right attitude that we try to uh, uh, exude during our weekend at the base boot camp. It's a positive, inspiring uh, 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 type of attitude, motivational attitude. You know, Rob is all those things and more. So Rob, we, because we saw these talents in Rob, he became a night owl instructor, and we thought that his talents were so vast that he needed to be in the days with, day, during the daytime, scheduled in the days with the so-called big, big boys of our instructors, the big name people. Now, as far as the people we've had, we've, our list of instructors is a who's who in the bass world of great bassists. Uh, we've had Victor Wooten numerous times as an instructor, Richard Bona, Oteil Burbridge, Gary Willis, Brian Bromberg, again, Adam Nitty's been here in the past, again, Anthony Wellington, um, wow. Oh, but, but Bakiti Kumalo, uh, Victor Bailey, Scott Ambush from Spirogyra, oh man, uh, Doug Wimbush, uh, there's other people I can't remember. Yeah, and I'm apologizing for anybody that I can't come off, that I can't think of offhand. But uh, as you can see, that's a who's who in the base world. I guess the concept of the base boot camp has much more to do with being motivational and inspirational. Uh, the ability to read music is not a requirement. Uh, your knowledge on the instrument is not, doesn't have to be vast. We, cover, we, we provide, I would say, information that for beginners as well as advanced students, uh, so everybody can benefit. We've had people who first just picked up the bass for the first time, you know, get something out of our camp. Um, it's, again, it's, more, it's, 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 it's an inspiring weekend, it's a motivational weekend, uh, it's a fun weekend. There's, there's no stress, uh, there's a lot of flexibility and a lot of information given that we think that everybody should be, have the access to and be able to get that information. So we think we provide that and there's a certain vibe here that is extremely positive that you feel as soon as you get here. And so it's kind of hard to describe the base boot camp when I'm telling people about it. And so I feel like a used car salesman. But when you get here, you get it right away. And everybody who's come has, for the most part, gotten it right away. So it's kind of hard to describe, but all I can say is you won't regret it once you do it. Yes, we probably average 25 to 35% of people coming back every year to same campers. Uh, and so that, that is obviously a testament to, to to what the base boot camp provides. Uh, a lot of friendships have been developed and maintained. These guys have actually become close friends just as they're, you know, with their interaction with each other during the weekend at the base boot camp. There's a uh, Yahoo web, a base boot camp website, and these guys communicate on a daily basis every day of the year, talking about topics, not just about base, but other things also. But it's all, you know, it's a base centric kind of forum and that expands to other areas and do we do we support each other everybody in the Philadelphia area specifically we have uh, uh, one of our former campers from the Netherlands Hans it's on, on a, our website every every other day so everybody's familiar we talk you know we support each other and all aspects of life whether it be base or other things too so it's there's a certain bond that that's developed when you attend the base boot camp too if you allow it, if you allow that, I'll have to qualify it that way. If you're open to that kind of thing, it's really something that's a strong, positive, motivational thing. Well, 
We run our event during the first week of the Berks Jazz Festival every year, the first weekend. Uh, the positive is obviously that the Berks Jazz, Jazz Festival brings in some of the top groups in the world, and with those groups come some of the top bassists in the world. So we're able to draw from those, the bassists in those groups to come and attend our camp and to provide instruction uh, and, and do master classes for our campers. So that's one of the biggest things. Plus, it provides the environment here as a whole in this hotel. Uh, it's the central hub for the Berks Jazz Festival during the weekend we're here, and we're obviously in the hotel too. So while we're taking our classes and while we're in the hotel, there are numerous shows in the hotel every day that correspond uh, with the activities in the hotel. So you have an opportunity to see some great music, live music, in addition to attend the uh, uh, base boot camp. And Reading itself is a great location because there's so much to offer. Right outside our hotel is a, a mall area with lots of restaurants and shops. And then this area itself has a lot of outlets for if, if you bring a family member with you to the camp, they can go ahead and do that stuff while you're attending the camp. So a, a lot of our campers will bring their wives and their family and it's also a great hotel. So, you know, with the activities in the hotel and the area, it's a win-win all around.